Oh, hi. It's Chris at Lion Punch Forge. Uh, today, I'm going to continue the uh, rolling mill themes here and do a little thing on uh, how to mount your rolling mill. So, once you have your rolling mill, you're going to need to mount it. So, I'm going to show you the way that I'm going to mount my rolling mill. And uh, a lot of the methods I use are going to be very similar to uh, some of the things that somebody else may use to mount theirs. So, let's do this. All right, if you guys have seen in some of the uh, other installations of rolling mills, uh, probably just one if you're watching my channel, uh, we got this guy out of the box. And essentially what we're going to do now is figure out where we want to put it. And, and then so I used a black Sharpie through the hole to create basically where I wanted to do my drilling at. Once I had those four holes located, you'll probably want to use a 3 8 inch drill bit. It's about 3 8 You can go a little bit larger than 3 8 but once you locate your holes, you want to move your mill out of the way so it doesn't get dust and chips and stuff all over it. And you want your holes to be slightly larger if you're going to do a through lag like this. If you're going to go through, you want to make sure your bolt fits in that hole and it, it's able to easily go through that and out the bottom side in order to screw on another washer and a nut. So on a mill where you have access to the bottom of where you're drilling through or where you're mounting to, you want a bolt that will fit the distance it takes from it to go through here, through your material, and then some stock on the back to uh, engage the threads. And you want a washer on either side. Actually, your setup is going to look like this if you're mounting it like I am. So one washer is going to go on top of the mill right here, and then the other washer is going to go underneath the table, and that's going to create a nice solid connection. Now the one thing that's different with mine is that I have three holes that I can go all the way through on, and I have one hole that goes down into a beam underneath my bench that I've used to brace my bench a little bit. And what I'm going to do there is a little bit different. I'm going to use a little lag carriage bolt or lag screw, whatever they call it, to go through that one. And then I'll ratchet that down into the wood. So I have four points of contact. One of the worst things you could possibly do for mounting is to not have enough mounting places. So there are four holes on your mill to mount it. I recommend using all four of them. There are also two additional, one in the front back here, one in the front and back. So essentially they're not through holes, they're just little guys here that can fit that in. And those, are, those aren't completely necessary as long as you have the other four there. It just allows for you to mount your uh, mill in a different way with just two bolts. But if you have the ability to, I'd mount it with four. Just my advice. So, once you have your holes drilled, like I said, this is a little bit larger than 3 8 and these guys are a little bit larger than 3 8 So, I'm going to align all four, and when you support your mill, you want to support from under here. You don't want to grab it from the handle, from the uh, adjustment. Washer, so bolt, washer, through, and then you're going to have essentially a washer and then a nut on the back side or the underside so put these three in <coughs> get it nice and adjusted if i can find my is it hiding it's hiding there we are And now this one is going to be right here. And I'm going to need to just torque that down by hand. Wrong way.
nut and a washer on the underside, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. That one is nice and tight. Do the same thing here. Ouchie. Watch out for that handle. <laughs> right in the head. That'll be a concussion later.